Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. One of the best-known facts about pterodactyls is that they have a silent pee, which they use to blind their prey for a can't get in here! That isn't a T-Rex either. This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger dinosaurs to cut red. <laughs> Place is impenetrable. Can I smell burning? T-Rex. If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all Rawr! Either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs, or because it was really, really clumsy. Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill. Huh?
Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until we receive the model monkeys on horseback. This Sphinx is an exact copy of the one found near the pyramids, I hope this except with some of cursed. the missing details restored. When we asked museum visitors to vote on whether ours was better than the original, it won by a nose. Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. This diorama depicts Robin Hood's less popular cousin, Robbing Hoodlum. While he also stole from the rich, he never really got around to giving to the poor, probably because he was too busy stealing from them, too. Oh! Yes, Bullseye! Huh? I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. This diorama depicts two cavemen emitting fire and the uh, wheel. Uh, Due to complaints of inaccuracy, we have removed a third uh, caveman previously shown inventing the laptop computer. Hey, I just reinvented the wheel. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here.
got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. And his whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase. Are you busy? Well, I'm kind of... Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great. Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Hey, Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah, are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? Oh, the usual, actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out!
You here to join the fire department? Head on in! Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet! Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not Toys! They are not to be played with! Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola! He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake! All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. 